Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing the readings for the Earth signs today, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If it does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to be um, clearing the energy off of the space, and then we can go ahead and get started. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Earth signs. What's going on? I hope y'all week is starting out well. All is well in the empire. I'm trying to get this. Um, these lighters are sucky, y'all. <laughs> I need one of them torches. Uh, anyway, so let me get this thing started. Let me try to get this uh, thing lit. This Palo Santo so we can clear the energy. But all is well in the empire. Energy is good. So let's hope we get some good energy out for these readings this week so we can start y'all off on a good on a good uh note. Hopefully and start off on a good note. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guys, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my earth signs today. Anything that is of you, light and love, anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. Um, I ask that you protect my earth signs as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This is going to be for um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Um, if you are not at Earth sign and you are here, there is a message for you. Everybody is welcome. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with my Earth signs. What is going on? So I feel like, um, oh, yeah. Somebody is wanting a new creative spark, but um, maybe going down a different path. Uh, but the time is right for you right now. Hmm. I feel like some of you could be caught up in some drama that you're moving away from. Hmm. And I feel like you're being called to follow your heart. Do what your soul desires. So I feel like somebody's trying to keep you trapped in a situation. Hmm. But I feel like um, you get a lot of attention. You're very magnetic. You draw in a lot of people. Hmm. So let's see what we got going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like somebody trying to manifest their hopes, dreams, and desires. So let's see what we going on, got going on with my earth signs. Okay. Okay. It says, recognize despair as an opportunity. Within you, within it, you will find the grit of awakening. So somebody could be going through an awakening. Um, I feel like somebody could be in deep despair about something. Could be um, a loss of a job, a loss of a person, or um, a loss of a connection. So, um you will find yourself um, going through this dark um, or um, emotional period. Some of you could be going through a dark night of the soul, but I feel like you might have been enlightened about something that's brought you, um, that has possibly got you very heartbroken. Oh, and it says release your creative energies on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are being um, guided to um, go down a different path, or you could be gifted. Um, Oh, well, it says within it, you will find the gift of awakening. Um, but whatever gifts you have, you are being encouraged to use them um, on your new journey. So it says release your creative energies, make the use of them in your life. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to get a new creative spark. I feel like somebody is um, needing to let themselves be seen, let themselves be heard. Whatever this path is you're on. Could be a dark night of the soul. Again, speak your truth. Be your true authentic self. It's going to lead you to abundance and stability. I feel like somebody is uh, working on getting themselves um, stable, grounded, balanced. Hmm. I feel like somebody could be um, drowning themselves also in music to get over whatever this is, whatever situation this was. You might be in isolation right now, some of you. The number 21 is here. That could be significant. The number 12, 
that does reduce to three. And then we have um, the number seven here. So I feel like um, whatever it is you're going through, you are in sync with the universe. And I feel like you uh, need to make sure you uh, keep your heart chakra open. Um, I, I think this is a time for you to uh, do some soul searching. Have um, a sense of... Um, a sense of higher consciousness about yourself. You have some awareness, you know, going through this dark night of soul, you bring some awareness to yourself. Um, getting the courage of, again to, to um, be your true authentic self. I can't even talk y'all. My tongue is so tired <laughs> today. I did the same thing with um, air signs. I feel like it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone because I feel like some of you have gotten really comfort comfortable where you were or where you are at. And I feel like somebody um, could possibly want to uh, explore new possibilities, discover new things. I feel like somebody needs to embrace the changes that they're going through and stay optimistic about life because like i said this is gonna bring in some abundance towards you so let me see your signs what we got going on i feel like you might um like i said might be in separation from someone or maybe lost someone it's got some deep despair but you, your angels have your back they are supporting you through this just um be very um specific about your prayers and what your needs are Let's see. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, you got the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like you're headed to or, uh, you know, some of you could be already getting a lot of public recognition. Some of you could have uh, online businesses, social media platforms. Some of you could be leaders. Uh, some some of you could be spiritual mentors, spiritual leaders. Hmm. But I feel like some of you are being called to have self-confidence Maybe somebody's feeling a little insecure about themselves since since this um, ending, whatever this ending was. But I feel like you are going to receive public recognition. I, I feel like you're going to be rewarded for your hard work. So, yeah, somebody could be um, maybe lost a job. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I see the Ten of Swords here on the split. So I feel like it was definitely a painful ending. Somebody was deeply wounded. I feel like somebody may have betrayed you. Maybe a friend, family member, colleague. But I feel like right now you're feeling very defeated. But just um, be humble, have faith, heal through this process, and you're going to come out great on the other side of this. Everything's going to be, it's going to work out in your favor of science. Let's see. What do we have for my earth signs? Mm. Spirit say that's the truth. So you about to have a breakthrough in life. Um, I feel like you received some mental clarity about a situation that you walked away from or somebody may have walked away from you. Or you feel like you had to release. But I feel like you have, like I said, have some new ideas. You get, you're going to have a new creative spark. I feel like whatever this situation possibly uh, kept you from being your true authentic self and possibly even stagnant. Um, so maybe you're in conflict with someone, maybe a friend, family member, or uh, a romantic interest. But I, I feel like you, you gained some truth and clarity about something and caused you to walk away from this situation. But you headed towards new beginnings. But I also see this um, Knight of Wands here. So somebody could have been non-committal, very in and out. Somebody, you could have been dealing with a very impulsive energy. But um, I feel like this new creative spark is going to inspire you to be more energetic. Um, very, um, I feel like you're going to be very passionate about this. And I feel like you're going to be, uh, feel like you're, um, have new inspiration. And I feel like you, you're fearless. You're going to be fearless. But I feel like you might have been dealing with a very lusty energy. Could have been a player. Somebody who was entertaining other options. Somebody who could be getting a lot of attention. Somebody who was very um, impulsive. 
could be very reckless. Yeah, and I feel like you received some truth and clarity about that. You could be dealing with an um, air sign. Or somebody could be wanting a new beginning with an air sign. Or a new uh, air sign wants a new beginning with you. So that's uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with her. Uh, I feel like this your energy. I feel like you're very passionate about what it is you're doing. Or you could have been very passionate about that person. I feel like it may be a, a situation ship. Maybe a friends will be in a situation. Somebody was very non-committal. Non -committal. But I feel like you taking action to move forward towards your new beginning. Because if you see these cards are facing each other. Earth signs. You know, maybe you want a new beginning with... An air sign. Maybe you receive mental clarity about something in relation to this air sign. So this person, I feel like you're in conflict with them. Y'all not talking to each other. Somebody was in some devil energy. Um, I feel like somebody else has some shadow work to do. So yeah, somebody going through a dark night of the soul, either you or your person. I feel like somebody might have been attached to something that was no longer serving them and they had to make a choice. Um, or somebody was tempted to go towards someone else in this connection that brought you deep despair. Or, you know, put yourself where you belong. You know, this could be you or your person. Hmm, I, I feel like it's a lot of, there was some seduction here. But this is this is earth energy here. I'm sorry, this ain't earth energy. I'm sorry, this is fire energy. I'm sorry, y'all. The Aries uh, Leo Sagittarius. I said earth sign, but it's not Aries Leo Sagittarius. So, um, and I said that was you, but it's not <laughs> um, your energy. But I feel like somebody wants to go towards someone for a new beginning. Somebody's very passionate. But I feel I feel like it might be a lot of seduction here, a lot of passion here. So you might have a lot of uh chemistry with someone that you had to disconnect from i feel like somebody might have had some very destructive toxic behavior maybe somebody had pride and ego somebody was very um deceptive lying cheating manipulative somebody could have been very materialistic here let's see oh okay yeah so definitely got some Deceptive energy here. We got Aquarius, Aquarius here. So I don't know if he was dealing with an Aquarius, Earth signs. But I feel like somebody betrayed you. Somebody's being very deceptive. Somebody felt like they was getting away with something. Somebody could have been lying, cheating, stealing. Somebody could have been uh, very strategic in their movements, keeping secrets from you. Hmm. Oh, Okay. But I feel like um, you are planning on moving towards a new new um, future. But I feel like somebody's trying to hold you back. I feel like somebody wants to hold on to you. But you you're ready to discover new things. You want a new creative spark. You know, I feel like you're in deep despair after this uh, this connection. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to make a decision whether they want to leave their current home or not. So you could be living with someone or married to someone, or you could be relocating. Or traveling to someone. So somebody you deal, deal with may live at a distance from you. So I feel like somebody maybe want to travel towards you. Or you're going to be doing some traveling. But I feel like you are. Um, this is the first step towards your new beginning. And I feel like you being very fearless about what it is you're doing. Whatever you, this new beginning is. Because whatever this new beginning is. It's got something to do possibly with a air sign. We got Aquarius heavy here for sure. Hmm. Let's see. Could be um, Aries energy. Hmm. But I feel like somebody wants to restore balance back into their life. This Libra energy. Or somebody uh, is receiving justice. Somebody wants truth, fairness, and justice. Somebody wants some truth and clarity. So somebody needs to, uh, maybe you were seeking some truth and clarity from uh, uh, air sign. It's air heavy here. Y'all dealing with an air sign. So either you need to provide some truth and clarity to somebody or somebody wants to, uh, to come towards you with some truth and clarity. But I feel like somebody wants to 
uh, restore balance in, in back in this connection. Somebody could be going through some legal issues. Somebody could be going through a divorce. I feel like somebody found something out about their person and had to cut them off. Moving away from this person. Going towards their new beginning. Walking away from a marriage possibly could have been sneaking out on a marriage. Or a higher level commitment don't have to be a marriage for some of you. But I feel like that situation was very unbalanced. Somebody could be getting some um, consequences for that consequences for their actions. Hmm. But I see definitely a new beginning coming with this Ace of Sword and this Justice card because she got the Sword of Truth in her hand. Somebody could, like I said, be dealing with some legal matters. Somebody could be working in the legal field. <clears throat> but I definitely feel like somebody is headed towards a new beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody could have been doing a lot of lying. I feel like somebody was doing a lot of lying here. <laughs> definitely. Mm. What else, Spirit? What else for my earth sign? Hmm. So we have the um, three of pentacles here. because So I do see some third party energy here. But I feel like somebody wants to collaborate with you. I feel like um, you learned something. You learned something about somebody. Um, are you learning a new um, skill that you're about to implement? Some of you going back to school. Somebody you're learning a, a new trade. But I feel like you might be um, wanting to put in some effort to learn uh, to meet new people. Go on a new adventure. But I feel like um, whatever it is going to be a sense of teamwork. I feel like you feel a sense of teamwork with someone that you want to build upon something with. I feel like you're trying to put together a plan to implement. you implementing a plan possibly to walk away from a marriage. Or somebody else is. Somebody else might be, somebody you're dealing with might be walking away from a marriage to come towards you. Hmm. But I see somebody wants to build something with you. I feel like somebody cut somebody off. Yeah. Yes. Somebody lying here. <laughs> this, this is air sign energy is here. We got earth sign here. I feel like you want to collaborate with somebody. Because we got the pinnacles. That's your energy earth signs so i feel like you want to collaborate with someone to build something with someone but i feel like somebody needs to walk away from a third party situation to be able to do that and i feel like there was a separation you either cut somebody off or somebody cut you off queen of swords energy here i feel like um somebody had to set i feel like you set some clear boundaries i feel like somebody um wants to communicate with you Somebody who's very independent, somebody clear-minded. I feel like somebody used their intuition here. But I feel like somebody needs to, uh, you looking for some truth and clarity or somebody wants to come towards you and communicate this truth and clarity. I feel like you'll listen to this person. But if they don't come correct, I feel like you're going to keep on moving. Yeah, these swords. Yeah, it's a lot of earth, uh, a lot of air energy here. So I feel like you're definitely dealing with an air sign here. Um, I feel like somebody walked away and is feeling very disappointed about it. Now they want to rush in, like your person possibly walked away from you, and that's why you're in deep despair with this um, Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody feels abandoned, either you or your person. I feel like you're leaving something, leaving something behind. You receive truth and clarity because you can see the moon is here. Somebody was keeping some secrets. Yeah, that's why I said somebody is in this um, seven of swords energy, lying, cheating, feeling like they was getting away with something and they wasn't. So I feel like um, we have this uh, nine of pentacles. I feel like you're going to be uh, focusing on yourself, very independent. 
I feel like you're very stable and abundant, reaping the fruits of your labor, very self-sufficient. And I feel like you're going to have a sense of financial freedom. What else? Earth signs. What else from my earth signs? Oh, I feel like you might be dealing with a queen of wands energy. Or you could be in this queen of wands energy. Very courageous, very confident, independent. You got a zest for life, very optimistic, very sexy, very determined, uh, full of joy and focus. I feel like you are uh, like been through a lot and very unattainable. I feel like this person felt like they could get over on something, get over on you about something. You 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 could see right through them because you have heightened intuition. Um, you have psychic abilities, some of you. But I feel like um, this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like um, either you feel like you can be abundant with a Queen of Wands energy, or and the Queen of Wands is known to be the other woman. Or I feel like. You walking away from another woman because of financial stability or somebody's walking away from you. A queen of wands could be walking away from you for, uh, or, um, you could be walking away from someone for, uh, due to financial stability or you could have walked away from someone. But I feel like, um, you're going to receive a gift of abundance or I feel like you're going towards financial stability, some of you. Hmm. I feel like you manifesting all your hopes, dreams, and desires. Uh, some of you could be starting a new career. Somebody could be starting a new uh, business. But I feel like you got a new financial opportunity coming in. Um, a new venture that you're planning. A new project. But whatever it is, you're going to be very processed. Justice is going to be served, and that justice is going to be you being abundant. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you had to definitely headed towards this Nine of Pentacles energy. Mm-hmm. You got new beginnings. Definitely headed towards new beginnings. Hmm. Oh, wow. So we got um, Aries energy here. We got Pisces energy here. Hmm. Definitely uh, your Earth, y'all. Um, y'all here. The Earth signs, this Pentacles. But whatever it is, you're very passionate about um, this new beginning. You're ready for a new adventure. You know, after this disappointment, you need a break. <laughs> Yeah, so this could be having something to do. I feel like somebody had to make a choice between two. Hmm. But I, I see you headed towards love, harmony, a new relationship. So you could be, um, with this new beginning, could be um, drawing in a soulmate. So somebody you're very passionate about, somebody you feel like you're more aligned with, somebody you got deep love for. Hmm. But I feel like somebody is very deceptive because if you see that snake in the garden here, it's a snake. Somebody is being um, deceptive, like with the Seven of Swords energy. Hmm. But I feel like somebody feels like um, they want to go towards, they want to collaborate with their soulmate. So again, I feel like somebody is walking away from a marriage to go towards a soulmate. Somebody could be walking away from their marriage to come towards you. They feel like I feel like somebody might be choosing you. But I feel like you're trying to restore balance back in your life. So I feel like somebody need to make a choice. Put yourself where you belong. It could be, look, and there go the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of that. So somebody could be dealing with somebody for financial security. Hmm. So they need to make a choice between two. So I feel like it's a marriage here. Somebody wants to collaborate or somebody 
And I feel like it's like a, a, a clergy person here or and two people getting married possibly. Or somebody could be in a marriage and going through a divorce. Or walking away from a higher level soulmate. But I feel like somebody wants to collaborate and go towards they, um, their gift. Their new beginning. And that could be a Queen of Wands energy. Okay, so I see um, the High Priestess here. So definitely is some secrets here. I feel like somebody was keeping some secrets. But I feel like somebody used their intuition. I feel like um, you feel like somebody is very mysterious or somebody feels like you're very mysterious. I feel like you have high morals and high standards. I feel like um, or the person that you're dealing with has high moral or high standards and a divine feminine. Or um, so this is a feminine energy. So if you are the feminine energy, um, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, we it's no gender in tarot, so you could be a masculine with the fem in in their feminine energy. So I feel like somebody um, feels like um, they have a divine feminine is trying to go towards their divine, divine feminine. Or see someone as their divine feminine. So if you're a masculine energy, you see someone as the divine feminine, your feminine energy, you in your divine feminine energy. But I feel like somebody is keeping some secrets. But I feel like you're using your inner wisdom. You tapped into your subconscious mind. Hmm. I feel like somebody has a sense of purity. Like somebody, you you see this person. Um, if it's your divine feminine, I feel like you feel like this person got a pure heart. Or if you the divine feminine, you are someone with a pure heart. Yeah. I feel like you got a, a, a very high moral compass. And then we have the King of Pentacles here. So I definitely see wealth. Um. I feel like somebody in here is a natural born leader. I feel like you you all are born leaders, very stable, very wealthy, very abundant, very generous with your um with your wealth, very giving person, very disciplined. Hmm. But I feel like somebody, like I said, you're in conflict with someone. It's a lot of conflict and chaos. Somebody, um, your person, you had a lot of, you know, it was a lot of fighting, conflict, chaos. You know, it could be competition because, like I said, somebody need to make a choice between two. And maybe somebody else chose somebody else. Uh, maybe your person chose somebody else over you again for financial security. Or somebody could just be in keeping secrets, wanting to win at all costs, wanting to have their kick in either two and somebody found out. Somebody could have been in an uh, emotionally or physically abusive relationship for some of you. Hopefully not physical. Hopefully not emotionally either. But I feel like, you know, um, somebody is feeling very insecure behind this connection. Yeah. But I feel like somebody wants to take a leap of faith. You taking a leap of faith towards your new beginnings and your financial wealth and abundance right here. But I feel like somebody was very reckless and careless with you. Now they want to come back towards you. They want to take a leap of faith. Yeah, because they want this, you know, this three of pentacles. They want to collaborate with you because they see you as the lovers, the, um, their soulmate. Very passionate. You know, this is somebody um, you feel like is a, a kindred. They feel like you're a kindred spirit with them. Like y'all kindred spirits. Like y'all are meant to be together. But I definitely see you going on a new adventure. Like, whoever this person is, you feel very aligned with. But I feel like they was possibly very reckless in the past. Mm, look. And you're planning something. See, you got, you got, you got you at the two of wands here, making a choice between two different directions, right? Somebody is trying to hold you back, though. Because if you see on here, there is um, um, a clamp holding this 
wand towards his on this brick wall or what have you so somebody trying to hold on to you somebody trying to hold you back from your new beginning but i see you feel feeling i feel like you see the world from a different perspective you know i feel like you're ready to go on a, a new journey you need some excitement in your life so i feel like um whoever you are you probably possibly very bored where you are but you are going to get this new creative spark right you know uh follow your heart I feel like some of you sitting around dreaming about um, dreaming about what your life could be. But this awakening is going to have you on the right path. I feel like you're going on the right path. I feel like somebody is um, very emotionally grounded. I feel like it's a lot of love in this connection. But I feel like somebody is closing their cup off, right? Because of the um, Seven of Swords energy here. Somebody's walking away from things that's no longer serving them. And it's causing you deep despair. Like I said, somebody going through a dark night of the soul. You know. You know, and I feel like you're using this as a catalyst of you. Um, for you to start this new beginning. The catalyst of your transformation is this situation. But you're going to um, be successful and you're going to achieve great things. You're going to be successful. You're going to successfully complete this journey. Somebody want to talk to y'all. I did air signs before y'all, and air is heavy on this on this uh, table here. And I feel like one of y'all might be dealing with um, an air sign. So, and and I can't. I'm I'm just so tongue tied today. Like I couldn't even get my thoughts out. But I feel like um, the six of swords. The uh, universe is encouraging you to move to calmer waters. So. Uh, walking away from walking away from something that's no longer serving you. Look towards your new beginning, a new romance, new love, new joy, happiness. Um, somebody could be getting a marriage proposal. Like I said, somebody could be walking away from a marriage and also going towards somebody and and want to marry somebody. Cause I see, like I said, somebody getting married here, and it, that fell um uh, this fell above the lovers. So somebody is making a choice between two, and I feel like somebody walking away from a marriage to go towards whoever they true their heart is truly with. This new beginning. Somebody is having a breakthrough. Yeah. But spirit is encouraged. This is air too. Aquarius energy here. We got Aries here. We got um the full Aquarius is heavy here. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. Or, um, like I said, an a, a air sign. Because air is all over this table. Mm -hmm. The cups, we got water signs. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it could be. Let me hurry up and wrap this up, though. We've been here for a minute. But I see new new love, new creativity. I feel like you're going to get a new creative spark. So this going to lead you to, down a path of um, abundance. So I feel, feel like you're taking a leap of faith towards your new beginnings. And like I said, with you being this King of Pentacles energy, that's your energy. The Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be having a baby. But I feel like um, definitely with this Nine of Wands, somebody has persevered through a lot. Been very resilient. And setting boundaries. Going to you setting boundaries with someone and going towards your new beginning. I feel like you're standing up for whatever you believe in. I feel like you've been, um, you done fought a good battle, but you coming out as the wounded warrior. And I feel like you feeling real weary. You, you tired of fighting. You tired of fighting, right? I feel like you keeping yourself in this middle prison or somebody else is in the middle of prison about you. Somebody have a lot of negative thoughts, self-imposed restrictions, you know, Somebody's in victim mentality or they feel like they're being entrapped in a situation and can't go towards towards their true happiness, the sun. This is an emperor energy. So somebody in the emperor energy could be a, a parent of a child, somebody who's very a, a leader, somebody very stern, disciplined, very focused and structured. Aries energy here. We got Leo energy here. And this Queen of Cups. I feel like somebody is closing their cups off. I feel like somebody has a lot of uh, love for someone. Very compassionate. Somebody, you know, you feel comfortable with. Very nurturing. 
But I feel like you healing through whatever this was and restoring balance back into your life with this um, temperance card after this heartbreak. Because I feel like this three of swords, somebody was dealing with some third party energy and um, it was very heartbreaking. And, and there was a, a major upheaval here. But um, I feel like you taking the first step to your new beginnings because you're seeing things from a different perspective. Yeah, you was at a, a, a crossroads. But look, that five of, five of swords here. You was at a crossroads. It's Aquarius all over here. It's so much air, but it's Aquarius is heavy here, y'all. So somebody, you moving away from an Aquarius, some of you don't have to be. Could be highly aspecting in somebody's chart. Or so this Aquarius was very sneaky and deceptive because we got the seven of swords and also the, um, the five of swords here. And both of these are Aquarius cards, right? But y'all got Aquarius all over the place. It's just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And these swords are also air signs. So even if it doesn't say Aquarius, it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So like I said, somebody want to talk to you. Somebody wants to, uh, yeah, it was definitely a power uh, a tower. Somebody is going through a, uh, a sudden change of people. It's a lot of chaos and conflict here. Uh, but I feel like you awakening and this despair, this has you in deep despair, depressed. But you will receive some insight. But whatever this new path you're going down, it's going to lead you to abundance. You are going to be okay. You're going to come out great on the other side of this. So let's go ahead and get some closing cards and we'll wrap it up. Earth signs. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I feel like you walking away from things that's no longer serving you, and rightfully so. I feel like you done fought a good battle, and you're ready to leave behind anything that's going to keep you stuck and stagnant and uh, emotionally unbalanced. So I feel like somebody is heavy in their emotions right now, either you or your person. Somebody is feeling the loss of this connection. And I feel like that might be you. I'm going to take all these cards as they fail here. And I'm going to end it. Yeah. It says, uh, I know that I can manifest all that my heart desires. I am ready to receive. So I feel like you're ready to receive uh, new love, new uh, beginnings. You're having a breakthrough in your finances because you got these, uh, you got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. So you got new love coming in. Um, you also got a new financial abundance coming in. Um, you also having a breakthrough, new beginnings, going to, a, through, you know, you, uh, having a new creative spark here. Yeah. You tapping into your creativity. It says, I am intuitive. I know that all the wisdom I need to make the right decisions lies within me. Yes. Cause here this high priestess is energy and you using your intuition. Yeah. To, to guide you and your angels got your back. Cause it's number seven. It's right here as well. And we have, yeah, seven, yeah, on this um, deception card or this seven of swords is here. You definitely come to a conclusion on uh, um, what decision you need to make. Everything happens for a reason. And it says, I'm trusting the process. I know that everything aligns for my highest good, right? Everything happened for a reason and trust the process, trust yourself, trust the intuition. It's going to lead you. It's not going to steer you wrong. I am choosing joy. I know that a simple shift in perspective can change my reality. Yes, because you in this two of swords, you was at a crossroads. Now you see in the world from a different perspective and you going towards what it is that makes you happy. So that's what I have for you, Earth Signs. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe until the next video. Love and light.